The Columbia County Board of County Commissioners is meeting this evening to outline how the county will use more than $12 million in funding made available by the CARES Act. The commissioners will discuss a three-pronged approach directing funds toward local government expenses related to COVID-19, community economic support, and a reserve fund for possible future expenditures such as countywide testing and medical costs. Economic support is expected to include direct assistance to individuals to cover rent, mortgage, and utilities due to the loss of income related to the pandemic. Grants will be available to small businesses who can demonstrate loss of income due to COVID-19, and small businesses will also be eligible to request PPE and other related supplies. County households seeking assistance will be required to meet the U.S. Treasury requirements for CARES Act eligibility and must not have already received the maximum assistance of $2,000. Despite the challenges presented by COVID-19, the Florida Gateway Food Bank continues to provide food to those in need. The employees and volunteers at the Catholic Charities operated facility have had to make social distancing changes to protect the well-being of clients. The food bank can no longer accept food from individuals, only from local grocery stores. Because of the contact touch and not knowing where that food has been, we've asked that they give monetary donations through our Facebook page, through our website, and then we can buy food at a lower price wholesale and through Feeding America, through Feeding Florida, through grants, and get larger amounts of food. In addition, the number of volunteers at the food bank is down because several of those people were seniors and have been cautioned to stay at home during the pandemic. Florida Gateway College held the first of two in-person one-stop enrollment days Starting at 8.30 this morning, staff members from each of the student services departments were in one location to help answer students' questions about college programs and about the enrollment process. The event is open to current, returning, and prospective students looking to begin or complete the enrollment process. During what's going on in the world today, uh, our enrollment services staff thought it was very important that we took safety and made that a priority throughout the entire enrollment process. So instead of doing just one day, we've made, now made two days for students to come in. We've uh, gone out of our way throughout the entire building to make sure that all of our departments have plenty of room for all of our students to come in. The college has required mask or face coverings while students are attending the one stop. A second one stop is scheduled for tomorrow at 830 in the Wilson Rivers Library and Media Center. From the Lake City Bureau, Mike McKee, Florida Gateway College for TV 20 News.